All right, guys, welcome back indeed to part two of our full walkthrough for Path of Exile featuring the Ranger, but you could be playing anything, it doesn't really matter here. So we're gonna go ahead and now go right back into town. And the one thing that I do wanna do is uh, actually do one of the quests that will grant us a skill point. And now we're gonna go ahead and be able to select a new reward. So we'll have lesser multiple projectiles. Uh, we have added cold damage, we have melee splash, and we have void manipulation, and then we have Aero Nova support over here. So as far as the new changes go, I don't know if Aero Nova is, is indeed a new support gem. Um, I kind of want less for multiple projectiles, but because this is new and I'm here for the content, we're definitely gonna get this. Um, okay. And don't worry if you choose one, um, you can get all the gems later down the line. It's not like this is like a one-time thing. You can trade from other players and get some of these. Um, so I also want to explain one thing. Uh, there are certain uh, vendor uh, recipes. For example, if something is uh, linked like this, where it has red, blue, and green, you can trade it for what's called a chromatic orb. This item, the chromatic orb, will actually be able to change the colors of the sockets inside of the gems. Primarily, we're going to be getting mostly green sockets. That would be ideal. But certain items, like for example, that would give evasion, will have a higher chance of having a green gem uh, slot over a red gem socket or slot. So um, anything that would be hybrid has a high chance to be, I guess, in both. But if it would be just energy shield, it would be ha having a higher chance for a blue one. So there are certain ways to kind of uh, pick out and try to get kind of what you want. But the chromatic orb will convert these colors okay. over here. So if let's say this one was like a blue and I want it to be red, I would just throw that in there. You don't target one specific one, it targets the whole item and you have to remove your gems before that. But that's how that mechanic kind of works. But, uh, all right, so one thing I also want to explain is uh, the items uh, at the vendors as far as what they'll give you. So you see, if I put this into the uh, vendor, they'll give me uh, a stack size of transmutation shards. Um, if I go ahead and identify the item, she will now give me six alteration shards. So it really depends on the item, uh, maybe potentially what it rolls. But uh, we can go ahead and do another one over here. So this gives us five transmutation shards. Identify it. We get 12 alteration shards. So it'll give you different things. And in this in this game, you definitely want to be trading. At this point, it'll probably have enough currency to go ahead and get like a unique item, like a low tier one. So we can go ahead and see what we get. Okay, so this adds damage to attacks. I'm going to actually equip this because, well, I obviously want damage to attacks. <laughs> uh, but some will only apply to spells. So make sure you read the item and it's in its full like uh, description. It's not as simple as Diablo where you just look at, is it green numbers? Okay, go ahead and equip it. Um, so there, there is a little bit more play with it actually. You can go ahead and equip these because they're a little bit better than what we currently have. I'm really just looking for movement speed, honestly. This burning arrow, I honestly don't care about this gem. But I do care about this one because this is uh, the arrow Nova support. So it says support both skills that uh, fire uh, arrows for his projectiles. These skills will instead fire a payload of arrow into the air and land in a target location. So instead of having the pierce, let's go ahead and try that out. And see what the heck it does. I actually have no idea what it does. But pierce, we don't have another green... Uh, gem socket so we can't really put that in there to level up you can alternatively run a, another weapon in your secondary and uh, also equip it too and yeah. that way you can level up your gems much faster i don't know why this is still here we should have vendored yeah. this off but this is just part of the game and Go honestly uh, in the very beginning you just want to go ahead and get your currency um and We'll get to like a, a couple more waypoints. Uh, this way, most of you guys should at this point have at least some form of currency that we can use to actually get some lower uh, level uniques in the game uh, via trading. Now, I do want to show off trading early on because it's such an important part of Path of Exile that I feel like a lot of people miss out on. So now we have this skill. This is what the Nova does now. That's kind of cool. Comes up in the air, bam, it hits it down. And remember, our ice, ice shot, every single time that it hits an enemy, uh, it's going to hit all the enemies behind as well, so that's quite nice. So we can basically just go up to the enemies here and uh, just start. Sounds good. Does it work? Oh, we got we got a silver coin. Uh, so anytime you hear a boy Trump, that's a uh, that's when something good kind of drops. Although the silver coin is not super strong, it's just something that I I like it because. Uh, with most of the silver coins, you're not getting like the correct prophecies. It's it's a it's another mechanic that I, I won't overwhelm you guys with the information on right now. But yeah, we have a loot filter that makes certain sounds. If you guys want to install it, 
Um, it was my most recent video. And I will also link it down below. I mean, we, need, we need to spam on that dash much more frequently. I'm, again, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm not used to it, man. We could be so much faster. And you know what? I can also show you guys, because I want to also show this off. We can actually put in the... Where is it? Oh, well, let me clear out the enemies first, because these guys are going to jump on you real fast. And Sometimes when there's a lot of them, it can get kind of nasty. Actually, you know, just throw up the blisters. All right, now we're good. So we're going to go ahead and actually swap the Ballista over here with the Ice Shot. And now our Ballista is going to have that Nova. And our Ice Shot's going to be going back to regular. So you can see how cool this game can become with the uh, mechanic. So it's now shooting upwards. Uh, I don't know. I feel like because there's a delay... You know, I'm not sure if I like the Nova right now. I'll still level it up, though. Um, oops, there's that. Uh... Oh, we probably should kill this thing because it's an elite. I just feel like it takes too long for the shots to register, which is the main reason why a lot of people were never really interested in Ballista in the first place, is because it took too long. But um, I don't I don't have a way to level this up, so I'm not going to equip it. Uh, if we can level it up, I'll, I'll try it out later down the line. But the, the biggest problem that I have with Ballistas and just in general, which I think is a, a lot of people didn't use them before, um, now they place a lot faster, but I think the ballistas are great for bosses. But I just want my damage to come out a little bit faster. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there for a while, you know? I think most people, they they prefer a faster paced style uh, to the game. Um, for me, I, I, like, I like clearing, you know, screens of enemies at once, but I, I think on the boss fights, which this game does offer, uh, a bunch of really cool unique boss fights, um, it, uh, it can be quite challenging, sometimes I'll just one-shot you, <laughs> but now we're at the, uh, shipyard, and like I said, we'll go back and get the, uh, what is it, which one is it, the, uh, the Dweller of the Deep, that one I believe gives a skill point, so we'll go ahead and do that one, if I remember correct, it gives a skill point, if not, well, I guess we're doing the quest anyways, but we should do that a little bit earlier on, versus later, because... The later we do it, well, the XP is just going to be lower because unlike in Diablo, well, in Diablo 2 technically, the the areas had like monster levels, but in this you can see what the monster level is and you can see our levels over here. But uh, the monsters won't scale with your level, they'll always be the same level, unless there's like very specific areas here. Um, actually, hold on, I think I want to get the cap looking one. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and throw those down. Now let's go ahead and open up our skill tree. Um, so like I said, at this point, you'll probably meet up with me uh, around here. And then uh, we're going to get the aspect of links, and then we're going to go ahead and get the jewel socket over here early on, so I can gain uh, onslaught on kill, uh, which is going to give us extra movement speed, and just it makes the character feel better. Uh, like I mentioned before, I got a lot of attack speed because I just feel like the game feels better, if that makes sense. Can you use the ballistas as a decoy or something for the enemies to aggro instead of you? Yes, you can. Um, Ballistas already have HP. You can also make totems like uh, do other things. Um, Ballistas are considered a totem, but totems are usually like to taunt enemies or they'll like we they'll curse them. You can make them do a lot of different things. I'm gonna pick up more of these items here for the. You know, should we do the metamorph? Let's do let's do a metamorph boss over here. Oh, never mind. We do not have any of the parts required. I wish I wish instead of it, it says you're close to a file to move. Okay, uh, I wish instead what the uh, the metamorph little thing would do instead of just being able to spawn it whenever it should only let you spawn it if you have the materials otherwise i just feel like it's kind of pointless and so you'll see we're getting chilled over here chilled's gonna slow our uh movement just like well, in most games <laughs> um but that's not the same as freeze freeze uh, when you're completely frozen you're not doing nothing But we'll have to try to modify our ballista so we can get some extra damage uh, out of it. Like, if I did, like, added, like, elemental or, like, cold damage or something. It just needs to do a little bit more damage. Uh, ideally, I'd, I want them to, like, one-shot or two-shot things. So that way I don't get too far away. And I'll <coughs> also, another thing I didn't get to mention is you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in on the game. It doesn't really serve really any purpose. 
I would say most people, with the exception of like, oh, I got this cool armor, I want to check check it out. Um, which there's a thing called skin transfer in the microtransaction shop, which allow you to get the skin of one item and transfer it onto another item. So it's kind of cool in case you guys like uh, a certain uh, skin in the game. And it only, I think it's like, it's a 75 cents, I think is, is the cost or like a dollar. It's, it's really cheap. That's from what I remember. But some of the microtransactions, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty pricey, but they don't do anything. I know some people, I've, I've seen people in the forums complain, all the cool looking stuff costs money. Well, I mean, the game is free, so like, and it doesn't have any implications on gameplay, and you can still get very cool looking items um, that you'll actually want to use a skin transfer on. But, right, let's go ahead and throw these down. Gotta watch out for the uh, firestorm that they throw in the, uh, well, is it, I guess it's in the air. My mana is gone. And we got a bunch of these organs. Nice. Oh, we got a new quiver over here. So this one's gonna grab us extra damage. Uh, accuracy, actually, we, can we go into his? Uh, accuracy, I'm just gonna show off that. It's another miss. Accuracy is, where is the accuracy? It's, it's, it's a blue tied to chance to hit. There's other like weird. Does it work? <laughs> There's other builds uh, that actually make it so like they don't need any accuracy and they rely off of making it so like they can't uh, they can't miss. It's on one of the passes. There's like a very specific thing. It's not resolute technique. What is it called? There's like one specific one. Oh, it's you can't evade enemy attacks, but you can't be stunned. There's another one where it makes it so like you can't. Um, it's, just, it's like you can't crit or something like that. It's like you can't crit, but then you can never miss. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Resolute technique. Yeah, I was right. Uh, so your hits can't be evaded. Oh, that's what it is. And then you never deal uh, crits. So there are, are like really big game changing things. Like one item I really liked in Diablo 3, but like you can't use it. It's called the um, Broken Promise. It's where if you consecutively don't crit five times, your next hit for like three or five seconds is always 100% crits. It's a cool idea, but like people don't use it. And it's because like the way it works is because if you do any AOE damage, which is like 99% of the builds in, in Diablo, um, you, won't, uh, you won't be able to proc it. Now we just got another shrine. This allows us to move a little bit faster. So go ahead and spam on this. Uh, some of the, the earlier league mechanics um, you can skip out on because they just don't offer enough reward incentives to actually do them. Uh, I'm talking about the little thing where we summon that like monster. Oh, that place is really fast because of our speed. Go ahead, get out of this. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, so like I said, they buff the bosses, and I can definitely notice that on this. Right, since we have 12 more seconds of our um, buff over here, she's gonna have a second form though. I love all that. That that feels so much better with that extra like speed. Um, there's a there's a mechanic that we'll be getting on Deadeye uh, called Tailwind, and it's gonna go ahead and increase everything, and it can like kind of stack up and get extra. Okay. This is definitely much more difficult. Like the Brutus fight was like, uh, you know, I thought you said you made these harder. But this is this is definitely much more difficult. Maybe it's because our gear we really haven't swapped it up much. But I, I like it. I, I want the boss fights to be a little bit more tough, especially the ones um, that uh, are a little bit more iconic. I I, I want Brutus to be a little bit more difficult, but this one is is definitely delivering. And so, like I said before, the flask will charge by killing the enemy. So sometimes, if you really need like some extra mana, you can kill these smaller targets. There we go. Let's see if she dropped anything good. Love for a man. That's what did this to you, Mervale. I'm just looking for any like boots that might potentially have. Uh... Oh, can we summon a new? Uh... Dang, we're already 14 minutes in. Okay. Uh, I want to look for. Okay, this one drops additional rare weapons. Um, rare weapons. Oh, this one dropped from one of the bosses we just killed. All right, cool. Wait, 
You know what we should do? You know what I want to do? Since we can summon that any time. Um, we're going to be working towards Act 2 right now, and we're going to go ahead and get our waypoint here. And at this point, we might have enough currency to buy, like, a, a bad unique. Or, like, a, a very low-tier unique. We'll, we'll get to the, the next town over here. And then I want to show you guys purchasing items, because that's the most important thing that I think in a lot of beginner guides, they just don't, they don't explain. So maybe just summon... No, I gotta summon multiple totems. They don't... They just don't... They don't react fast enough. I still think it's a problem. Um, but I'm curious to know if... Um, they become a lot more viable at the end game. Because when you have like three of them... And you know, you're, you're fighting a boss... It really does help out quite a bit. Because it, it's doing... Let's see. Let's look at the damage it's doing on like the snake. It's like... It's like 90... 95% of its HP. And our eye shot, well, I shot one shot, so. I think the damage is okay, then. But it's just like. I could just shoot and eliminate all the enemies. Eventually, uh, since right now, I shot, we don't have to have, like, multiple projectiles, which I regret not getting, but I wanted to try out the new stuff for content here. And we're still gonna go ahead and do that. But I think. I I'm cool with three totems uh, with I shot. I don't think I need the fourth. Because originally I was going to go ahead and rush that new uh, passive that's located over here um, on the tree. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, maxing out on damage ASAP. And we're going to go ahead and go straight over here, and we're going to get King of the Hill. The reason why I want to prioritize going towards King of the Hill as soon as possible is because it really helps out with survivability, and it also makes the game a little bit more enjoyable for me because uh, I'm going to go kind of all in with my build, and... I will give you guys uh, the explanation, like I mentioned before. You guys go this way and meet up with me, and then you're pretty much going to do the same thing. But there are going to be other instances where I will mention uh, where I'm going to go all in. And if you want to follow my, my full guide, feel free to do so. I didn't feel like at any point in the uh, playthrough so far that I was really worried about dying. The last boss fight that we had well, it was a little bit more challenging, definitely, but I, I wasn't really worried about it. So let's go ahead and Can't continue up here. here. And we're at the next town, which is going to be in Act 2. So now that we're at Act, Act 2, I think this is a good point where most of you guys have probably got some type of currency. So let me go and actually show you uh, the website uh, that we're going to be using for trading. There's a lot of different other websites, but I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what it looks like and give you guys the brief rundown. Because this is actually a very important part of Path of Exile. So the website is Trade. So there's uh, the currency market and then there's the um, item market. So in the currency market, you'll see all of these different things. This would think of this kind of like gold, if you will. Like all of these are considered gold in Path of Exile. Um, some are worth more than others, and you can easily see the conversion rate. So this is basically what everyone. It's like kind of like one of what I would say like the standard currency. If you guys play Diablo two, it's not necessarily as e it's it's easier to get than an SOJ, but like it's what I would think most people trade for. Like a lot of items will cost like X amount of chaos orbs. Lower tier items will cost orbs of alchemy, and then everything else it's it's relatively low. And people won't trade an item for like one of that. Um, but fusings are great too. But let's say um, we want to go ahead and get um, an item over here. So the item that I want to get, and I think a lot of you guys will probably want as well, is called Quill Rain. Uh, it, it just makes gameplay feel so much better. Oh my gosh. So this is Quill Rain. Just type it in, hit enter, and you'll see how much it costs. You'll see this costs one uh, orb of alchemy. And you might have a chaos orb at this point. You might not. Um, let's go and check out what we have. So in our instance, we really don't have any. We can't afford, uh, we can't even afford an orb of alk. So we'll probably have to actually just trade for something else uh, because we can't afford it, which is totally something that can happen. And I actually want to pull up my notes over here uh, that I had. So another thing that I really wanted to get that I like to get early on, there's a lot of items that I, I like to get early on that aren't really like that great, but it helps out. I'm just going to talk to them also. There's just no exclamation mark. But if you guys want to listen to them, feel free to go ahead and again do so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap out this mana flask. Oh, you know what? When you're opening up the, the trade, you can't do that. But I'm going to go ahead and see what we can convert all of our items to. I don't think we'll have anything. Uh, we have one extra chromatic orb, so that's kind of nice. But um, three chromatic orbs is not going to be worth anything. But this, we could probably trade this for something, hopefully, Kappa. All right. Uh, sometimes people will list stuff for like next to nothing just because they want to help out other people. 
But I, I just want to show you guys the trade mechanic. It, it, keep in mind, you don't have to do this immediately, but it is uh, something that you guys can think about as an option uh, for later down the line if you're looking for a very specific thing. And if you want to see all the uniques, I recommend just Googling Path of Exile unique bows or whatever. And you'll see a list of a bunch of them. Uh, I'm not sure how much the silver coins go for. So, if, for example, uh, like I showed off uh, just a second ago, the uh, Quill Rain over here, right? Uh, that was the item that I want, and it costed... Well, let's hit, hit enter again. Do I just have that in another tab? All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop up this. So, there's one for one Orb of Alchemy, and what you're going to do is whisper the person, and it'll basically give you an option to basically cut and paste the message, and then you'll go to his hideout. But uh, I don't have this right now, but I do happen to have two silver coins, so if I click on... Uh, that I want an orb of alchemy and I have silver coins, how much does it cost? What's the conversion rate? So you just hit search. Um, some things won't be implemented in yet, like there's probably no one looking for that. But for example, if I had chaos orbs, which is again like pretty much what everyone uses, three chaos orbs, or I'm sorry, three orb of alchemies is what you'll get for one chaos orb. We don't have a chaos orb yet, so we'll have to kind of continuously farm. But there is one thing called the uh, thousand ribbons that I actually really like. It's not very good. It's probably cheap enough. Oh, it's just an orb. People, again, they, they don't really sell stuff. Uh, a lot of the stuff, it won't be like viable uh, for them to actually sell unless it's, they get something off of it. Uh, another great item is Karui Ward, which I'm just kind of curious to check out the prices on some of these. So it's good to just kind of check these out. And we, we will purchase something later, but uh, I guess we no one's selling anything. Uh, this is what we want. It's probably going to be kind of expensive. Actually, it's only one elk. Okay. I Sometimes random stuff will go up in price just simply due to uh, different leagues and everyone's playing bow this patch. So certain things like Dying Sun will be very expensive. We're just going to go ahead and talk to all of these. So these are what silver coins are used for. This is where we talked to Navali. What we would do is we'd hit Secret Prophecy. And what it does is it costs a coin, but... Here, let me go ahead and actually um, do this. So we'll do, um, and move my cam out of the way so you guys can see this a little bit better now. So you can see, uh, this is a prophecy. So what you use, you hit seek and it costs a silver coin, but it will reveal a, a prophecy. So what that is, is something will happen in your game. Basically what it really comes down to is uh, an elite, a very specific one will come in and he might drop something. Some of, the, some of these, you can take these um, and, uh, uh, trade them. Um, they're, they're like these little orbs. Uh, we'll probably show off the mechanic later down the line, but I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the, the, the basic mechanic of it. I recommend just actually just trading these in uh, for other currency for most people because it's usually not worth it. But let's go ahead and hop right back into the gameplay here. And uh, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to be doing a uh, quest that is going to have like a permanent implication on our uh, character. <laughs> so this is Einhar. And uh, actually, you know what we'll do first? We'll go to the right. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. And uh, the reason why we're going to go to the right first is there is the Great White Beast, which is an optional quest that will grant you one extra skill point. So I recommend doing it. Uh, this is Einhar. This land is dying. Um, what he allows you to do is capture beasts, and then you can go uh, kill the beasts the the and chain. get items off of them. Sometimes they're, they're specific uniques, and it can be kind of worth it, but. I don't really mess around with it too much. Pruning a branch can save a tree. But hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to get more support gems. In fact, we should probably go to town after. We'll, we'll complete the, the quest and then we'll go check out what is available in town for us to trade as well. And then hopefully relatively soon we'll be able to get Quill Rain because it's going to make our DPS skyrocket because it makes us fire so much faster and it makes the game just feel so much better so here's the den go ahead and kill all the enemies around it so the einhar mechanic is you weaken the enemy and he's going to go ahead and capture them and then you'll be able to basically summon the beast that you captured uh, later down the line We really should link our uh, eye shot to something else because it'll make the build so much better. Oh, 
lot of enemies over here. Okay, we have to kill this guy. Okay, well, he's basically getting him low enough to where Einhard is going to actually get him. And then... After we complete this quest, we'll go, like I said, we'll go back into town. And we will check out and see if there's any new skills. We also might be able to get, uh, I think you can have Magni pretty soon, right? So we get our first little pet guy over there and it's just kind of cool to have. Uh, and literally you get golems. There's a lot of like cool things in this game. So I know a lot of people that play like as a ranged uh, character, they like to have a little pet to kind of uh, absorb some of the uh, the damage. Although, uh, if you don't like scale it correctly, it will die quite fast. <clears throat> And, oh, Does it work? We, got, we got a silver coin off of that. And this is, the Tormented Rogue is the equivalent to a loot goblin in Diablo. So we got some boots. Oh gosh, this will be so good. Can we please get some movement speed? Ah, oh, no movement speed, but what is this? Let's offer it. Oh, we can't even use this anyways, but it does give us some strength, which uh, equivalates to life in this game. So I, I should probably go over what the, the, the main stats do in this game. So, <clears throat> if we go to character here, you'll see strength gives us Sounds good. Does it work? All right. So we've got uh, strength that gives us uh, two strength equals one life. Five strength equals one melee physical damage. And then we have dexterity to give us accuracy. And five dexterity equals one percent evasion. So uh, evasion is for you to uh, evade attacks. And then intelligence is for mana. And then uh, five intelligence equals one percent energy shield, which is the mechanic that we have uh, before our health goes our uh, shield will go up first, unless it's uh, chaos damage. Did I watch the Game Awards? Did I answer your question? I watched like 80% of it. I'm really excited about Shik uh, was it Sekiro and... Is this the end of this one? Is this to go back up? I think some of the, yeah, okay. This one has, I guess, an entrance and an exit. But at the exit, you can't go right back in. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go right back in. But this 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 time, we'll go this path over here to see if we can uh, get to the end of it. But yeah, I'll, there wasn't any like new game that I was really interested in, uh, other than that one from uh, Counterplay Games. I forgot the name of it already, but I just remember that that was the same developer that did Duelist. I'm interested in that game too. Um, I was hoping they would like announce Torchlight Frontiers. <laughs> This playable, but I'm pretty sure that game got pushed to 2020 anyways, but Was there any games you guys were interested in uh, from the game awards? I, I'm not really a, a fan of watching the whole thing I usually just skim through it because like I honestly don't care about like what game gets best music or uh, Whatnot I'm more interested in like seeing the new games and honestly like I feel like sometimes people get really disappointed by the the votes or whatever, like, wins whatever category. Final Fantasy VII? Uh, yeah, but uh, for me, I, I, I'm probably going to get that game, um, just because I I never actually finished Final Fantasy VII. I let someone borrow it from high school. I never saw that game again, Kappa. <laughs> but it's fine. I wasn't really playing it anyways. I think at that time, honestly, I was playing Diablo II, and I was just like, eh, whatever. Too slow. Like, even as a kid, I got impatient from turn-based games like Pokemon, which I still think Pokemon's a really good game. Like, Red and Blue are still great games, but I just don't have the patience to play um, turn-based games anymore. I want my games to be fast. Where the heck is this thing? Oh, you can use the... Wait, what? Where the heck is this thing? There's no way we missed it. Am I blind? Well, regardless, we, we still have these to pick up on the way. These are organs for the metamorph. Which so far, it, it really helps out having the uh, the ballistas on these. Like it just shreds them super, super, super fast. Another skill point over here. I don't know what the heck that sound was. Uh, all right. Oh, it's DMM games. That's, uh, that's my... Here's what it is. Oh, it crashed. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that is a uh, application. It's kind of like Steam for uh, Japanese games. I use it to play um, some anime games, Kappa. 
Why does it give me back to the old things? I thought that that's where it's the location. Okay. Let's go and just get to the next waypoint and then uh, we will get some new skills and new support gems hopefully. Do not worry, little beast. So we have to find and capture now. Is there another beast over here? So you'll see that there are little icons for the beasts. Kind of look like, a, look like a bird's skull. And visual novels, no, I, I can't sit through visual novels. I don't have the patience for them. Talk about DOA Extreme uh, Extreme 3. Or was it, you know, Venusification is what it's called. You're just thinking Shenmue will get an award? Oh gosh, I, I feel like that game took way too long. And like, seeing that, how that game literally looks like it's, a, it's stuck in like Dreamcast era still. I was surprised. I actually played through the entire game Shenmue 2. Uh, I do, my friends made fun of me for playing Shenmue and like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, thinking about it now, like, I'd probably make fun of myself, too. That game was Resident Sleeper. <laughs> like, it's just one of those games where you can sink a lot of time into, and you feel like you get good value out of it because it's, like, long, but at the same time, you're sitting there listening to dialogue that takes so long to, to like, finish, you know what I mean? All right, so we've just finished our quest, so we can go ahead and get um, one of these items. I recommend getting the Quicksilver Flask because I can't sit still. So we're going to go ahead and get the Quicksilver Flask. And so what the Quicksilver Flask does is it gives you increased movement speed. So in this game, it's not just health and mana potions. There's potions, or they call flasks, the same thing, essentially. Um, but they'll, they'll increase your damage. They'll actually give you two additional arrows, which is called Dying Sun. It's really expensive, and we won't get that until way, 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 way later. But I just want to explain that they have more implications than... I, I, I know I keep on saying that like Diablo 3, but it, the reason why is because I want to explain that this game has that complexity that a lot of you guys desire that Diablo 3 just doesn't offer. Welcome. Which is great. And so you'll see this This is my stash space. We've got like lots of different pages. You might not have the same amount of pages or the same types of pages. Like, like for example, this is my currency one, and this allows me to put all of these stacked up really nice versus stacking them like this way, if that makes sense. But it, it doesn't actually change up gameplay. So don't worry if your stash does not look exactly the same as mine. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the skills because okay. I actually would really like to get um, some new skills. Because it, uh... Yeah, as you progress in the game, you will be able to purchase more skills. We'll actually go back into Act. Um, so you can see you can also purchase the other uh, forms of currency here via the vendor. But I want to go back into Act 1 because I want to purchase uh, the multiple projectiles, so lesser multiple projectiles. Take care. Okay, so we got another, we got Toxic Rain. I want to double check on the, is it, it's Greater Volley. Greater Volley and then Barrage are the last two gems. We also get Siege Ballista. Um, so the shrapnel, I believe, the word, let's see what the wording at first. Multiple arrows into, with extreme force breaking them apart into shrapnel. Enemies can be hit by multiple arrows from the same attack. So this one, I want to say shrapnel is more like a shotgun ability. And the Siege Ballista, which is, uh, I want to say, this is not even new, right? Let me double check on that. Oh, it, it sh shrapnel is new, and then there's artillery. All right, so this one's not even new content. So I actually kind of like the shotgun one because it, it's probably better for single target DPS. And I don't know. Uh, this one was 104% of base damage, which is just like less damage or something. Yeah, 34%, but it's, it, it's multiple arrows. So like if there's one target, you can hit slam them multiple times. I'm actually totally fine with the shrapnel ballista. Uh, however, this one does have some range. Uh, let's see, we have Toxic Rain, Rain of Arrows, Lightning Arrow, Reeve, Lightning Strike, and Elemental Hit. Uh, there's actually lots of builds for that. You know, I, I might as well just get this because I want to kind of test out both of them and see which one I kind of like more. And then once we get level 18, which should be relatively soon, we'll equip these and then I'll go ahead and put back in the Shrapnel Ballista and see which one is kind of better. Because they, they said that they've messed around with the AI, so I at least should give it a, another try here. And then we have Whirling Blades, Blink Arrow, which is probably what we're going to be getting. Uh, this gives us extra crit, which is kind of nice. Blink Arrow is very, very nice to have too. Well. The reason why I like Blink Arrow so much is because it lets us uh, go over um, like gaps a little bit faster, but I don't have a, a green socket right now. So what I'm going to try to do is we'll try to get some RNG. Hopefully we'll get a green one and we got a blue one. 
This is kind of a waste. Don't don't waste your stuff like this, but I'm doing it for for science reasons to show you guys it changes the colors. <laughs> but that, that was not a good attempt at it. Uh, I could have done it on another item that would have a higher chance, which would be something like this because it gives us evasion. Uh, that would have been smarter to do, but again, I'm trying to show you guys uh, the gameplay mechanics here. Anyways, we're in Act 2 now, so uh, we're at Crossroads. Actually, oh, you know what? The whole reason why we went back in Act 1 was so I can get multiple projectiles. <laughs> So uh, instead of uh, the peer support, I would have something else, or just something else uh, instead of that. So you see all these gems over here, and if you want to see support, you can just type in support, because that's what we actually want here. So you see that there's the peer support, and then uh, we have lesser multiple projectiles, which is actually what I want, but I'll go ahead and see what else there is that can be also useful. Um, I wouldn't mind extra fire damage. I could just slam on extra fire damage, and then also have uh, multiple projectiles. Even though it's ice, I just don't happen to have the correct colors here. I would ideally want the cold damage, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the added fire damage simply because, um, well, that's the only other option. Wait, uh, oh yeah, I didn't really like Aeronova. But with lesser mul multiple projectiles, I could technically hit three of them that would blast into multiple other ones, but I, I just... Okay, either way, we're getting this. All right, and then, um, what else was there? Whirling Blades. And if you want to know if it will work with your skill, if you just mouse over it, they've added this. Um, in the top left, you'll see where it says Ice Shot and Siege Ballista. It has that little, like, check mark. That means it will work with that skill. So now, Got we're going to have uh, three arrows come out, and then we're also going to get fire damage on this. And if you want to see uh, how much damage we're getting, you can open up this. This is not always 100% accurate, but you'll see... We have 225 damage, and if I take this out, that's how much damage we'll be actually getting with this. So it's kind of cool that you can kind of uh, look at it and directly see the effect of whatever your gem is, because, yo, know, I'd hardly farm it for me, man. All right, so he's going to go ahead and eliminate the enemies. So what we're doing right now uh, is we're going to be killing some bandits. These bandits, uh, you can you can do a... Um, you can kill all of them. You can help one of uh, one specific one out. We're going to be helping out Alira. That's the one I recommend for like most builds anyways because I think it's honestly so good to the point where I'd say like everyone should get it and then they just spec out of it if they really want to like later down the line. So this is the other Ballista. Oh, this one's so slow. Look how slow this one is. I was complaining about the last one being too slow. Look at this. Look at, look, look at this one. It like charges up then it shoots, right? The Shrapnel is so much better. You just throw this down. I guess it takes a second too. It, it, the other one seems like it's like super slow though. Hold on, is this hit scan? Let's see how, what's the range on this. So there is a range or let's see. It's okay. Yeah, so there's there's definitely a shorter range. Whereas the um, other one, the Siege Ballista, let's see what the range is on this one. Oh, uh, well, hold on, let's see. Come here. It's about the same. It's definitely longer and it does it does go through. Hmm. It doesn't. Is it, is it like not last that long? I don't. I, I'm more a fan of the shrapnel to be honest. So we're gonna stick with that one. But now you guys can see my eye shot shoots three different uh, arrows. So this is gonna significantly increase our damage. However, uh, with lesser multiple projectiles, we deal less damage. Um, but because it's shooting three, if we're all hitting one target, right, we're still getting more DPS, and we're one shotting them anyways. So sometimes there are thresholds that you want to meet, like if you're not doing enough damage, you don't want to throw in lesser and multiple, because multiple will add more, it'll add, this one adds, uh, what is it, uh, two, two extra projectiles, the, there's one that adds, is it three or four? It, it adds more, basically, I, I, I'll have to double check on that, because I, I honestly haven't played uh, this in a while. So we're coming up to one of the bandits, we're actually going to kill him. So if we help him, this is what we'll get. We'll get attack speed and cast speed, which I... And dodge mechanic is actually really good for uh, a lot of builds. But specifically, the Alira, like, she just offers way too much. So we're going to go ahead and summon ours, and then we're going to actually kill him. My mana is gone. The reason why is because in the very beginning, Alira gives you mana regen, crit chance, and all resistances. It's like, it's like so incredibly good for the early game. It's, it's insane. And we actually do want crit anyways. Um, I forgot if it's crit chance or crit multiplier, but we'll, we'll see it in a second. But um, the thing that's nice with uh, Alira is that um, it's really just the mana early on. So once you kill him, he's going to drop his amulet. Okay, so 
what we can do, uh, we could exit the game. The, the waypoint's not that bad. Depending on your computer speed and also in the Path of Exile server sometimes, it can be faster for you to not actually um, do this uh, via walking back to the waypoint or even using portal. You can see, we, we, don't, we don't use portals here. We're being smart about it because early on portals, uh, you don't always get a lot. Later down the line, you won't even have to worry about it, so. Hello. That's a thing. But we, I don't think we picked up any other trash. All right, so we're going to kill off the uh, bandits, and that's going to be a good, like, uh, I guess, closure to our part two of this game. Our full, full walkthrough, playthrough, the whole thing, man. And I think we're coming up to a jewel slot, but I don't know if we can get a jewel. We still haven't gotten enough currency to trade yet, so I do want to show that off, hopefully, within the next uh, couple parts. But our, our, our luck wasn't, wasn't very good. If your luck was better, hey. It's all good. You can, you can start advancing faster than I am. Actually, I think we need to go this way. Sometimes you go one way and it's the wrong way. And uh, you have to walk all the way back. That's just part of like the, uh, the randomness of an action RPG, right? Get that waypoint. There we go. Nice. Most of the times though, you can see that there's this path, right? If I follow this path, most of the time it will be correct. Yeah, once we get the extra mana regen, oh, it's gonna be so much nicer. And you'll see that there's this gap. So how do we cross this gap, you ask? Well, you can walk, you can find the, the correct path to walk all the way around. Or, you can be smart about it after we eliminate these enemies. And uh, this is why we got Blink Arrow. And there we go. And just like that, we're on the other side. Uh, what was I running on this one? Uh, I'm gonna swap back to Dash. That's what I swapped it out for. And our gems leveled up. Make sure you always level up your gems. Um, I would recommend all you guys just level up your gems to max level or just whatever you can go to. Unless it says you don't meet the requirements to level it up and then it usually doesn't let you level it up. It usually has a sort of like X on it. But, um, or uh, it'll have like a, it'll be like grayed out actually. Anyways, we got some more skill points. Let's go ahead and put them in. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go rush King of the Hill because that actually gives us extra uh, damage with bows, but mostly it's the knockback that I want because I'm gonna be, my build's a little bit squishier. You'll see we have a jewel socket. Um, we're not gonna be able to afford the jewel that I want, but I wanna show you guys the uh, mechanic over here. So once again, we're gonna use that POE trade. And then what we're gonna do is go to uh, base and we're gonna type in jewel. Uh, I think you can, Oh, actually, hold on. I think you can just type in type jewel. Okay, because there's different types of jewels. All I really want is onslaught on kill. So it's a percent chance to gain onslaught for four seconds on kill. I would go ahead and hit search, and it would show up the items. And it's always going to put the lowest ones. There's only two people selling them right now. Um, I, I want this so so much. I believe it's a percent chance. I don't remember the, the highest number on it. But basically, that's all That's all I want. I just want that chance to gain onslaught because, whoops, hold on, there's an enemy here. Uh, onslaught makes the character feel so much better. And same with thing with Quillrain because we're going to be able to attack much faster. Oh, I didn't even pop my Quicksilver Flask. There's, like I said, there's just so much content in Path of Exile. It's hard to make a video uh, like, you know, in a, in a 10, 15 minute video to kind of cover everything in the game. I don't even think it's possible to make a 10, 15 minute video of Path of Exile to cover everything. Or even like an hour video. Like this this game is is way too complex to make a, a, a quick start guide. Like you can make quick start guide part one, but you're gonna have like a lot of parts over here. But we're gonna go ahead and um, go over everything as Troy's very informed. Yeah, I know there's just so much. I, wa I wanna cover everything, like I said. The, the biggest complaint from uh, what I saw, this is Alira, by the way. We're actually not going to uh, engage this right now. Neither know where it's at. I was going to go ahead and hit up the waypoint and then go back, but uh, it's fine. Since it was right there, it's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go upwards on the riverways, and we're going to find Oak. Oak is upwards on the riverway, and uh, Oak is the guy that we're going to kill, too. And uh, Alira is the one we're going to be saving, or helping is what it's called in there. That's a weird like kind of location for it. I wonder if it's upwards from the waypoint over here. It might be. Sometimes with different tile sets, you just get unlucky. So I think this is a pretty decent build though. Like honestly, the, the shrapnel ballista, okay, here we go. Here's where Oak is gonna be at. It's usually just upwards, but 
Alira was like shifted over there. Again, just sometimes yeah, uh, what I would call like more rare tile sets, as in like the RNG is just not in your favor. Like there's usually like a, a general area where uh, you'll see certain um, enemies or certain maps. Here's Oak, so we're gonna go ahead and kill Oak. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw down a bunch of turrets, and then I'm ready to fight you. You just let me summon a bunch of turrets first, you know. Completely balanced. Oh, I should have went over what you get from him. You get like life regen and My mana is gone. physical damage. He hops around though. He's got leap slam, which is a skill that uh, you get on two-handed weapons. Well, most two-handed weapons, I want to say. Some skills are tied to weapons. Obviously, ice shot should be probably linked to bow only. Projectile. Yeah, it'll tell you exactly what is. Projectile, cold, bow. Man, Oak is tanky, dude. They made him really tanky. Unless my damage is just really bad. I don't know. Now I'm just going to sit in front of him so I can hit him with all the, all the shots over here. And his boys be just coming out of that tent over and over. Almost got him though. There we go. We got the amulet and we got a sapphire Those ring. Good for once in your sorry life, bandit. Feed the worms. All right, so we get some extra damage, some extra accuracy, and some extra light. And then light radius, what that is, is it's how bright the area is. <laughs> it's such a useless game mechanic. Um, I want to say, was it in Diablo? Even in Diablo 1, like, I wouldn't prioritize that stat. Oh, we got something. A ruby flask over here. So this will make it uh, good for certain bosses. Certain bosses will do, like, fire damage. And what this gives us is extra uh, fire resistance and also makes us take 20% less fire damage. Uh, there's something called Righteous Fire that I like to play, and uh, it's it's quite great in that. All right, so now that we've hit, hit the, uh, actually, uh, for once I should actually, you know what, we, we didn't even show the Town Portal mechanic. Let's at least show it off, because like that's pretty important in the game. But it's pretty simple. You go through it. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and help that's Alira, and uh, that'll be a good closure to uh, this part. Did I really not get the waypoint? Are you serious? I, I walked to the... Oh, that's right. We just saw where she was at. Oof. Okay, well... You know what? We'll, we'll just TP over there. <laughs> to River Race. It's still technically a little bit faster. It's not like we're having to walk the full thing. Uh, but ideally, I would have gotten that uh, waypoint at Alira's. And then I would have went back to Oak. Or I could go to Oak first and then go back to her. I just like to go and get her waypoint. That way I don't need to get Wetlands. Even though we'll probably end up going back to wetlands, so yeah. Sometimes like you know, you you forget about grabbing a waypoint, but it's not the end of the world. So if I didn't have this blink arrow, like normally you would just equip it, right? But I didn't have the, the room here to equip it, but now I can. Since I have this uh, uh so I can go ahead and blink over there. Which is quite nice. So the Western Forest here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead. Well, this, this I guess I don't know if you want to call this a boss. The last one definitely felt like a boss fight. Heck, it was he was stronger than Brutus by a lot. But um, this one we're gonna help, and what we're gonna do is give her the uh, amulets of uh, Creighton as well as Oak. Those are the two other bandits, and we can kill her. And if we kill her, we get extra skill points. But uh, I, I, the five mana regen, fifteen to all resist, twenty crit strike multiplier. Uh, honestly, it just really comes down to the resistance since the mana early on. Later, yeah, the, the global crit strike is pretty good, but I'm going to be running Maligros, which uh, uh, changes our crit strike multiplier anyways. But nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and uh, help Alira, and so we won't have to fight her. She's going to give us the Apex, and that's going to make us go back into town. This waypoint, though, we do want to get uh, really quick, uh, and uh, we'll go back into town, and uh, we'll go ahead and progress, and then we'll go ahead and, and sign out for this second part of our uh, Path of Exile full walkthrough playthrough. Uh, we're getting close to uh, Kingdom Hill. Now, again, that 5 mana regen is so, oh my gosh, it's it's so nice to have. Even though like I have mana potions and I can pop them, I don't really like popping them, to be honest. I just like to spam on my ability, you know? I want to pop these Quicksilver Flask. We need to get movement speed on our boost, so that's that's one thing. Oh, another thing. You can see right under our Quicksilver Flask, the little like yellow uh, bar that's slowly going down, that's how long it's lasting. And when that goes away, obviously that, the skill's gone. 
Oh, we're also coming up to uh, an area that I haven't gone over. Let's see. Okay, there's, we're almost getting up to hour. Okay, we won't show that area off yet, but I, w I, would, I do want to show you guys uh, what those are. Those are basically a stronger areas. If you want to think of it as a, if you played Diablo, I guess best uh, explanation, kind of like a, a, a rift area. It, but like, you still like swap items. It's more so just like an area that's like supposed to be a little bit more difficult, but it yields like better rewards. If that makes sense. I just want to find the waypoint for this area because we will be making a return to this area and I also want to go back into town. But let's go ahead and find the waypoint. I guess I can use blink air to kind of move a little bit faster. You can later on. You can basically rotate between Blink Arrow and your dash. Um, there's a cooldown reduction that you can get on Blink Arrow. I don't think it's worth it, though. To be honest, <laughs> you lose out on like way too much stats for it to be, in my personal opinion, actually worth it. Is the, the waypoint behind? Oh my gosh, we're getting so unlucky, man. But that's part of the game, and I'm, you know, it's important to show you guys these kinds of things because sometimes you watch another YouTuber and they cut up too much of the content to the point where like. The gameplay experience looks completely different. I'll definitely say from Modern Warfare, when they, when they never die and you're just like, wow, dude, he's rushing around. Yeah, but you know how long it takes for him to get that gameplay? And how many of the deaths were probably cut out so the gameplay looked a lot better? It happens. So, like, I want to give it to you guys raw. Kappa. <laughs> All right. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, right over here. Hopefully this is where the waypoint is. If not, it could be, like, when those uh, that very small corner there. I try not to... Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. I try not to go over... It every single like corner here because usually like you'll you'll see it um it won't be in like a, a corner waypoints i think they can't actually be in the far corner look at that guy's mtx so you can make your character look cool it costs money oh you know what? one thing i didn't actually show off is yeah we can go ahead and throw in our monkey pet over here we've got a little monkey guy and we could throw in our little bird you could have up to two pets they don't do anything they're just for uh, looks only um but that's uh that's uh the pet system over here and then now that we've got uh these items over here i forget which guy we talked to but anyways, let's go ahead and sign up for this part. Uh, we just uh, defeated the bandits. That's a good like uh, closure to the, uh, our part two playthrough of Path of Exile, the full walkthrough guide, whatever you want to call it, where we're holding your hand, we're doing everything together. But anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in part three very soon. But thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.